Director General, the credibility of the OPCW is at stake. Why will you not heed calls from renowned international figures, including the organization's first Director General, Jose Bostani, and several former team leaders from the OPCW, to meet with all the investigators, including the dissenting inspectors? Director General, this problem is not going away. Are you going to investigate all aspects in a transparent manner? And you might also look at the fact that there was a, leak, a false leak that went to Bellingcat and the BBC, uh, which went, set out to just to deliberately, deliberately to undermine the credibility of Bustani. What have you to say about this? I'll begin by saying what I feel I have to say after what I have just heard. The credibility that I'm concerned about is that of the European Parliament. Yes, there is no peace without truth. Uh, there is no peace with fake news. And I would like to apologize to the Director General of the OPCW for what he has just heard. As standing rapporteur for Syria, I would like to apologize to Syrian human rights activists that I have met, to the NGOs who work in Syria that I have met, to doctors in Syria who I have met for what they have just heard. I cannot accept that you can call into question the work of an international organization and that you call into the question the word of the victims in the way you have just done. And I would uh, ask you, Director General, to please uh, forgive uh, what we just heard, which uh, seems to me to be fake news. I give you the floor. President, why am I the only one that was interfered with here? Is there no freedom of speech being allowed in the European Parliament anymore? You have not the parole. You have not the parole, Mr. You always said that we were entitled to our opinion. Today, you're denying me my opinion. Mr. Mr. Wallace, you have not the parole. Uh, you, you don't have the floor, uh, Mr. Wallace. Uh, you don't have the floor, uh, Ms. Daly. I am giving the floor to the Director General of the OPCW.